Jenny, do you have the test bag on Mr. Sherman yet? Did I pay you? Well, if you did, I didn't hear you. Weren't the instructions on the chart to pay you once the tests were back? Yes. Well? Is there a problem? You bet there's a problem. What do you two think you're doing? We're getting, getting married. married. Hey, what's up with the uh, epiphany? I don't know. I thought she would have been happy to be invited to the wedding. Yeah. Why don't you go ask her why she's mad? Are you... This is, will you go... I'm not asking her. I'm not asking her. I'm pregnant. You... Are you... Yeah, I don't... Dr. Drake? Yeah. You're an AKG. Dr. Scorpio, your test results. Wow. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is great. This is Thank exactly. you so much, Epiphany. Yep, I'm doing my job. I suggest you do yours. All right. Epiphany, why are you so mad at us? Yeah, is there, is there a problem with us getting married? You two have driven me and my staff to distraction the moment that you laid eyes on each other. One moment you're screaming at each other, the next you're getting way too personal in the supply room. Then you commandeer the PA system, you to ask her to marry you, you to tell them the reasons why you can't. But I can handle all that. And we do, we really appreciate you, Pete. But however, now that you two have decided to make up your minds and get married, do you go and do? Uh, have a wedding? What you're going to try to pull off in less than two weeks with a baby that's almost here. Which is going to give you both all kinds of reasons to argue and micromanage. And I'm telling you right now that I'm not having it. But we, we haven't argued about the wedding at all. No. It's only a matter of time. Really, we, we agree on almost everything. Yeah. <laughs> now I know you're lying. It's true, because Maxie is the one that's making all of the arrangements. See, all Patrick and I have to do is just show up, get married, and have a good time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, look on the bright side. Patrick and I may always fight about stupid, petty things, but we don't fight over the big stuff. We'll see. Mm hmm Well, uh, have fun with Tiffany, right? No, 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 you're, you're not leaving. I suddenly got very, very sleepy. You... Traitor. Bye. That's Drake. Yes. I'm gonna call you. Um, yeah, your cousin's, your cousin's doing well. Could you be a little less specific? Her vitals are, uh, getting stronger every day. She's uh, got no signs of paralysis or permanent damage, and she's responding well to physical therapy. Uh, I take it you're keeping your family up to date with this? That's correct. Good. And uh, are they going to plan on making a visit? Uh, I don't ask you personal questions. I'd appreciate the same courtesy. Yeah, I understand, but I'm going to ask you anyways. Does your family know, Sonny? I guess that's why you gotta ask questions. You don't pay attention. Uh, yes, of course, my family knows Sonny. And how are they with Kate and Sonny being married? Well, see, you got a baby on the way, right? Since we're asking personal questions. I do. Let's just say that your baby was a girl. Well, a matter of fact, we are having a little girl. How'd you feel about your daughter marrying Sonny Carenthos? Thank you for meeting me on zero notice. Epiphany was about to go into a rampage and I needed a break. Haven't you heard it's uh, not a good idea to be seen as being public? Oh, come on. Aren't you being just a little bit overprotective because I have a butt in the oven? Mm -hmm. As long as we don't make a routine. Okay. Well, all of my routines are about to change very soon. Well, you look good. How do you feel? I feel great. The baby's fine. And, well, I asked you to meet me here because I have to tell you something. Something that I thought I would never have the privilege to say. That sounds important. Yeah. After a lot of back and forth and a couple of meltdowns and way too much ridiculous behavior, I decided to marry Patrick. I know you and Patrick are going to be very happy. You know, I, I finally realized what was staring me in the face the whole time. I love him, and my heart is safe with him. 
to do that. I finally found the courage to believe in a future with a man that loves me and loves my child. And I'm finally glad you got everything <laughs> I wished for you. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't ask. Ask what? When I'm getting married. Queen of Angels, October 29th. I think you should come. I wish I could Listen, you before you back. say no, I can't go, just hear me out, okay? I wouldn't be getting married if it weren't for you. It's true. I mean, you... You're the person that helped me to believe in love again after Stone died. I probably wouldn't even be on the protocol if it weren't for you. It's not, it's not true. You what are, you're just scared. All you needed was someone to listen to you think it through. That, it that's is all I true. Did. After Stone died and I was diagnosed with HIV, I only pretended that I had a future. You were the person that made that future real for me. And you also helped me to believe in myself and believe in my own choices. And now I think that marrying Patrick has one of the best decisions I've ever made. I'd really like you to be there to help us celebrate. And uh, I will be. In here. Not in person. I hope your life with Patrick and your baby is better than you ever thought it could be.